What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. My camera is a little bit messed up. Uh, this is round number one that life's just a game. Game? Game! We're playing against Isaiah uh, Williams, good friend of mine from Mississippi. I think he still lives in Mississippi. I know he went to like, California for a minute. But I think he's back in Mississippi. I don't know. Uh, but we're playing our Mewtwo box that we showed. Uh, best two out of three. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, I think he's playing Pika. Which, I think Pika's an okay matchup. Yeah, Pika should be fine. Pika should be fine. We can tag call for like Mewtwo and stuff. Um, Cherish Ball for Dedini if we want to. And there we see a Jirachi. I think he's playing Jirachi Pika. Um, I couldn't really see his deck list, but that's okay. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. Uh, if it is Pika, I mean, the, the game plan is just get like Machamp out. And we just go crazy. This tag call can get like Machamp and Mewtwo if it's in the deck. So that's pretty good. Um, if we hit a support card, we can also just like go this into Machamp Mewtwo, this into, um, I guess we get Dedini anyway. Well, no, this, this can get us, uh, so Galio and we get that turn one Soul Burst. That's what we really want to see, is that turn one Soul Burst. That's what we want to see. So, we'll see what Isaiah does here. See, see Stella Wishes. See Tackle. I don't even, I don't even see what he grabbed. Uh, Pika and Guzman Hala. All right, there's Electro Power. That doesn't really matter to me. That's fine. There's the Pika Boy coming down. Uh, the three boss orders should help in this matchup, too, just in case he goes, like, heavy Bolton, which I don't think that's even, like, a good thing anyway. So... We know he has Electro Power in the hand, though. I mean, he could pull, like, a turn two Tag Bolt off, which would be kind of scary. So we need to watch out where we put our energies at. Um, I think the game plan is definitely just, like, go Machamp. Go, go Machamp. So, but if we top deck a research, oh, we, we, we are looking really, really nice if we top deck research. Because, I mean, this is going to get us Machamp, going to get us Mewtwo. This is going to get us the Sogalio. And then... Yeah, research into that. And there's a skateboard. Another Jirachi coming out. We'll see another Stella Wish. So he's playing like the heavy um, Jirachi build, which is something I didn't play. I mean, I, I, I tested the deck some, but I wasn't really a big fan of it. Just wasn't my cup of tea. But he's playing the Super Tag Call Engine, um, <clears throat> which is fine. I think it's a good deck. Lightning on to Topeka. Let's see what else he has here. So just a pass. Okay, so on our turn, it's going to be pretty simple. Oh. Yes. All right. Tag into this and this. All right, bro. I can't. I can't. Can't stop. Won't stop. All right. We'll get Mewtwo. This is scary though, because this rainbow boosts up to two sixty, which means he needs triple E power. I mean, it'd still be pretty crazy if he hit triple E power. Machamp switch into Mewtwo. Research. Let's see what else we get. We get a Dedini. Um, we can put down the Chaotic Swell. We can quick away the Blastoise. Go ahead and chuck a... Go ahead and chuck a Sableye, Sabletar away. Now, I could hold the hand and, like, boss order this guy next turn. Which I think I actually am going to do that. I think I'm just going to Soul Burst for five. Let's go ahead and grab three of these. And then two of these. So we'll put... Rainbow, 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 and they'll put two on the active. Okay. So like I said, the only way he can take a knockout is he triple E powers with Pikasek. And even then, he has to commit Tapu Koko and energy attachment because he can't put down um, Thunder Mountain. Now, I don't know if he's playing Marshad or not. I couldn't really see his list. If he's playing Marshad, he could march out on that. Uh, but the plan is to boss order this guy and use 100 Below's Impact for 320 to knock out the Pikazek. Uh, this is where like the deck like really shines, right? We want to see the Pikazek. We want to see the Dragapults. We don't want to see Uh Yeah. As long as we don't see Bosophion, I think we're okay. Spirit 2 might be kind of sketchy. I haven't played that matchup before. Because um, we're not playing the ADP variant of this deck. I just don't think that's very good. And plus, we're just having fun playing a tournament. So... We'll see. There's Tag Call. Let's see what he grabs with this. 
The three boss order plus Eldegoss is like really nice because we have like four outs. So like even if he doesn't like decide to attack with this, we are forcing an attack this turn. Um, so that's nice. That's good. Also, we can like boss switch to Dini, go crazy, find another attachment. There's a Guzma and a Raichu, Raichu coming down. Okay. Um, we do play Malolana as well, so that can also uh, switch out the Machamp. If he does paralyze us next turn, we'll see if he goes for that. We just gotta hope he doesn't Marnie us here. Marnie would be pretty bad. Uh, but like I said, we played multiple boss orders. We haven't played a single Dadini. There's four in the list. I don't know if there's four in the deck. So. All in all, pretty good turn one. So Guzma and Hala, okay. Let's see what he finds here. Discarding a Volkner and something else. Whoa, that's crazy. Thunder Mountain, a skateboard, and speed energy. Now, like I said, Thunder Mountain can't go down as of right now unless he does play Marshadow. He can still bump the Chaotic Swell, but I don't know anything in his list. He might play um, Plant. That could be a thing as well. And there we see a Quick Ball, discarding a Lightning. Okay. <laughs> now, if you get Trips Leap out here, that'd be busted. That'd be pretty cool. I would not be mad. Oh, there it is. So he does play the Marshadow. So we'll see Marshadow for sure this turn. And the question is, can he hit triple E power? And even if he hits the triple E power, uh, it'd be kind of hard to him to knock out a Marshadow Machamp next turn. Um, I guess he could technically do it though. <coughs> so, but if he goes for the Tag Bolt GX, he's not going to power. Up, he's not going to be power up that right you range you, which is something that he needs to do this turn. So we'll see. There's the reset hole, Marshadow. Gonna use that reset hole, discarding the chaotic swell. Okay. There's Thunder Mountain. So now his uh, guys need one less lightning to attack. Let's see what else he finds here. We know he has a Lolan Raichu in hand. We know he has an E power. Um, there's one E power right there. There's an escape board to the Jirachi. There's Raichu and Raichu. Dadini, discarding a speed. Okay. So he has two lightnings in the discard pile. Tapu Koko could come into play, but I don't think you use... I mean, you could use Tapu Koko right now and then, like, energy switch to this guy, uh, to energy switch to this, and then, like, you can almost force a lightning ride. Um, but he's already attached per turn. So we'll see what else he's got here. Also, if he swings the Mewtwo, that can also power up um, the good old Charizard. Uh, Charizard's right there. The good old Outrage. So, something he does have to worry about. But also, thing he has to worry about is his Blastoise. Rocket Splash is really, really good. I like that card a lot in this list. Like, if we attach to Reshizar next turn and attach again the following turn, Mewtwo could take a knockout with that. Uh, so, here comes Pikazette coming up. Let's see what he goes for. Does he have the triple or not? And that is the big question. My plan right now is pretty simple. It's just, uh, as of right now, it's just a switch into Dini, attach energy to Reshizar to force Mewtwo and Mew to take a knockout next turn. Search Tapu Koko. We'll see a Dance of the Agents most likely coming down. Um, Lightning Ride does do 250. He has two extra energies, so he'll need um, one E-Power, which is not too hard to get with Marsh out of my champ. We can also attach a fourth energy to the Mewtwo. And threaten a greedy crush to fall in turn for 210 on a like a Dedini GX. That is something we could do as well. Um, that might actually be the better idea. Uh, so those are full blitz. So just 180. Yeah, I think we just switch into Machamp, go for 100 blows impact, Dedini, and we attach energy to Mewtwo Mew. I think that's probably the best idea. So there's a chaotic swell. So go ahead and bump that. We'll go ahead and switch to Machamp. We'll go ahead and Dadini. Yep. Let's see, we find. Uh, so we don't find an energy attached in this turn. Um, I can Stealthy Hood this. Air Balloon. This. I can Cherish Ball for a GX, or I can Tag Call for Guzman Hala. Um, I can Marty him to four. So let's see. Yeah, there's Guzma. I can either Guzma 
and force an attacher this turn. Or I can just Marnie to four. Let's go ahead and just Marnie to four. <clears throat> That's not good. We missed the attachment. Uh oh. All right, so 100, 100 blows impact for the knockout. Yeah, I uh, maybe should have went for the attachment because that's definitely, man, with the energy. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, we needed that, like, really, really bad. Yeah. It's not game over, but man. So he needs energy, e-power, and he can knock out this guy. And then we're in a little bit of a trouble. Unfortunately. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, because maybe we hit energy, we could have Greek Crush this turn. And knocked out, like, the Dini. We could have went for Rocket Splash. Because right now, Rocket Splash is only doing 240, so that's not enough for a knockout. Unless he benches another Pikazek. Which, I don't see him benching another Pikazek, so it's a speed energy. So he's digging for the good old, um, he is digging for an E-Power, so. Because he's got the Coco, Coco will get the knockout for sure this turn, so. Yeah, this is unfortunate, man. We should have went for the, we should have went for Tackle, for the Guzman Howland to guarantee the energy, and then most likely have out this turn, because we have Quick Balls to find a Dini this turn. That's just unfortunate. <coughs> yeah, we had tackle. We should have just tackled for Guzman Hala and just guarantee the energy attachment. Oh, well. In my head, I was like, all right, we disrupt him. Might be a little better. Uh, but we'll see. He still has to hit an E-Power here. He's only played, he's played one so far. Let's see if he finds it. Okay, there's a stamp. Stamp is pretty good. He can stamp us to three. So let's see if he does that or not. There's a stamp to three. So he really needs to find this E-Power. Hey, there's my stuff. There's the Dance of the Agents. Okay. I don't think there's a way we can take a knockout with four energy on a Raichu and Raichu GX in this list. Um, three, six, nine, 12, 15, yeah. Can't take a knockout with, um, with Greninja. Eradicate doesn't do enough, so Galley only does 230. Blastoise does not do enough. Vileplume is definitely not doing a knockout. Mega Table out Titar is not taking a knockout. So he's to see a treat to Jirachi, though, so he needs to find a switch in E-Power now. And if he doesn't hit that, then we're looking really good, because, I mean... It doesn't guarantee it's the game. Oh, there we go. Us to 60. Still not up for knockout just yet. It's very, very close. But not enough right now. How many boss orders has he played? Zero. Vitality band to that. It's still only 260. Malolana. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so he's gonna he can lightning ride to a bench Jirachi as well. Okay. Yeah. Might be game there, unfortunately. So goes down to three. We'll send up this guy. <clears throat> we'll cherish ball. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing in the deck that could take a knockout right now. We just whiff the energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab Jirachi. We'll quick ball the Jirachi. Uh, to find a Mewtwo. We'll Aurora the Mewtwo. Marnie. And we'll press done. 
Unfortunate, but let's see, does he have a boss order in his hand? Yeah, with the uh, the blast only does 240, so that's not enough. So it comes down to does he have boss order? Is what is what we're at right now. So we'll see. And there's King. So yeah, missing the energy is what killed me there. I should have Guzman Hollow for the energy, just a guaranteed because we definitely would have game there. Um, <clears throat> well, not guaranteed, but like. We had multiple outs for uh, the boss order. We had the energy in hand, as you see, but we left it. That's okay, it happens. <clears throat> All right, so we'll try again. It is best two out of three. Um, just let him know that I'll just go first. Yeah, the unfortunate thing, like I said, is we whiffed the energy. If we didn't whiff the energy, I think we 100% had the game. So. Alright, there we go. Round number two. Or game number two, I mean. Alright, call heads. Win the coin flip. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna go first. Now, he could attack turn one, which is, like, always really scary, so. But, I mean, Chaotic Start is always really nice. It will definitely slow him down a lot, because he can't play Thunder Mountain. So, that's good. So, let's see here. Starts Pika as well, which is something he doesn't want to start. Uh, so, we'll cherish for Solgaleo. My champ is in the deck, so that's good. We'll go ahead and quick this for a Dadini. We'll rainbow the active Dadini. Yep. Hmm. This hand is really bad. <coughs> <laughs> we got the turn two soul burst. Um but man, we don't have anything else outside of that, unfortunately. <laughs> man, I'm still kicking myself because we didn't use my hollow for the energy. Like, like they gave, if we did that, we guaranteed pretty much the game. So. Oh, well. I was like, okay, we have a lot of outs, but we just didn't hit them. So. Maybe it wasn't as many as I thought it was. There's Pika and Guzma. Okay. Now, he could hypothetically blow up this turn. And that would be really scary if he gets a turn one attack off. Um, the Guzma Hala gets him the speed energy. It does get him Thunder Mountain, but then he has to find the Marshadow. So we'll see if he can do that whole play again. That was pretty cool last time, like Marshadow into that. So. There's the Guzma Hala. I'm going to discard two cards. These cards an E power and a lightning energy, okay? So those E power is pretty important. And you decide to keep it. Well, like I said, there's Thunder, Skateboard, Speed. Bro, does he have Quick Ball for Marshadow again for the bump of the Chaotic Swell? Then he needs to find a Taku Coco. He already has the energy in the discard pile. Does he have double Quick Ball in the hand? Oh, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to see. It'll be pretty cool. If he double quick balls, find Marshadow, find Coco, get the Pika. Um, so he speeds the active. So now he needs Energy Switch and Coco to pull that off. So and Marshadow. So he needs a lot this turn to get the turn one knockout or get the turn one swing. So we'll see if he hits it or not. Like I said, the only problem is my hand is like very very bad right now. Very, very bad. But we have a ton of outs. So we'll see. There's a quick ball discarding Great Catcher. Will this find Marshadow or will this find Coco? He can get the Marshadow and just put it down. And he doesn't have to reset hole immediately. He could just like, wait a second. If he bumps, if he, oh, there's a quick ball discarding the skateboard. Will this find the Coco? Bro. What if he has it? We knew he has Pika in the hand too. There's Marshadow. Oh, he's going for it. Either he has it or he's going for it. 
There's Pika. There's Coco. Let's see what else he has here. There's Thunder. There's Dance for One. Tax Switch or Energy Switch will get him the turn one swing. So let's see what he has. There's a... And the quick for the Dadini. Man, that's a hot turn one there. Yo, I think we lose, like, straight up. Like, I don't see how we come back from this. We'll see, though. We'll see. So, full blitz, 150. Putting three on the Pika. Okay. On our turn. Top deck the Dini. All right. Chaotic. I could attach energy, but I'd rather just hold it right now. So I'm just going to Dini. Yep. Could have best of hit somebody just in case he plays something weird. Uh, we're going to research. Okay, so we get tag for this and this. Dude, we have so many energies in our hand. That's the only thing I'm scared about right now. Legit, I'm scared that we have so many energies in our hand. We can't really take 100% use on uh, what we want to do. Oh, there's three in here. Let's see. We already have Blastoise in here. Yeah. I can just go. So Galio was in here, right? Yeah. So we got the two we need in the discard pile. Um, outside of that, really don't need too much. We get attach. I'm gonna lull and eradicate, I guess. No, we're gonna grab Valplume. Aurora, the Valplumoy, into Soul Burst. So, one, two. Basically, the champ has to go the distance, though. Um, he's down only one like, E power, so he can very, very, you know, get he can get the knockout pretty easily on this guy. Well, he needs three, or a Raichu with a Raichu can also get there. Yeah, a Raichu probably the best thing to do. <coughs> so we'll see. It's not over, but it's not looking good either. If I'm being honest. Both of these guys have 270 HP, so that's nice. We're making him use, you know, he well, he needs a Raichu this turn, that's for sure. And he's already played five energies. He should have enough energies in the deck. So he's gonna take a knockout for sure on this guy. And then we need a top deck Marnie. I don't think we do we have any Marnies left? I can't recall if there's three in the list or two in the list. So we just gotta hope his right twos are prized. If his right twos are prized, then we're good. He could be playing like the one like I've seen some lists just play one right two and they're like, okay, I'm just playing the one because I really don't need it. I need to like go Pika really bad. Uh so just Guzma Mallow. Kinda tells me that he doesn't have right you, right? Because Tack Hall can get tag tag cards, which is right you and right you. So but maybe Raichu's already in his hand. He's been drawn hot, you know, this game. So we'll see. We'll see. He also can't attack right now because he needs three energies, so he has to come in another Topeka Zek. So that's also a thing why he might have grabbed the Guzman Hala to get, like, guaranteed a speed energy, and speed energy can draw him cards. Um, the deck I knock out with this guy on the Machamp, he will need triple E power with a choice ban. So that is a thing. Let's 
let's see here. Okay, now I see Ozzy's list. Okay. So he's playing... Bro, that list is so small. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, so he's going to play one right here, right you. And he's playing one tag switch. So. So he's got the energy for Pika. Okay. We just got to hope his E powers are prized. And he only plays one choice, or one, um, yeah, choice. What is it called? The little band, dude. Search full blitz for knockout. Okay. Can he somehow get a bolted? Powered up 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Um, no, I mean, he almost needs the same exact. So. <coughs> yeah, we're doing 100 bullets impact and see where it goes from there. And there it is, the 6 on the Pika. So. We'll see. That card's not really helpful. I mean, that's all I can really do here. I guess we can just research to thin the hand or thin the deck. We get it quick this way. And 100 of blows impact, so. He either has it or he doesn't, right? He needs triple E power and vitality band. That's what it's called. So we got plenty of bosses. We got plenty of the Danny's tail dick for the bosses. We need it. He needs to go the distance. Does he find triple E power? And that's the question. He also can um, boss and win as well. He can double. He can like double knock out both the Danny's, right? That's the thing too. Yeah, he can he can do that as well. He can boss one of the Dedenis. Take a double knockout that way. Since we have two Dedenis. I forgot about that play as well. So we'll see if he goes for that or triple E power. There's one. I hope he goes for triple E power vitality. That'd be pretty sick. I think, like I said, the big thing is if we were to use the Guzma Hollow last game. I think we would have been a way. I think we would have been a better situation for sure, because we probably would have won the game. Um, so he's still a wishing. It didn't grab anything. Jirachi switching to Jirachi. Does he have all of his bosses prized as well? I'm trying to see how many plays. There's a Volkner. Maybe he's just trying to go for the... Okay, there's a Volkner. Vitality and Lightning. Switch. There's one. Two. Oh, did I do the math wrong? Oh, he only needed a triple because it has 30. Wow. Wow. I wonder if he had the boss order and just didn't do that for some reason. Because I think he plays... Maybe it's just one boss order. It looks like two, maybe three. The list is like that small, so I can't really see it. Uh, but there we go. Lose round one. Like I said, <clears throat> the big thing was game one, we should have a Guzman Hollow for the energy. And then we could have threatened to knock out the next turn to win, and we didn't do that. Um, we went for the Marty play instead to be more aggressive. I don't know why I was thinking he needed 3 in Vitality. I guess I was thinking 20 when it's 30. Uh, so that's my bad. I played Pika for so long. How did I miss that? But still, triple E power was still like... Not crazy, I guess, but he didn't prize any, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but he did prize the right and right you. I think if he if he didn't prize the right and right you, he definitely could have won um, that turn as well. 
So there we go, 0-1 oh, in the tournament, but that's fine. We're just here having fun, playing some Mewtwo before it, ro before it pretty much rotates. It doesn't rotate, but like, it dies off, like pretty much. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, I didn't say the beginning, but make sure you check the link down below for donations. Uh, go, do go, do go donate. The winner of the tournament does uh, get all the money to the charity of choice. Congratulations, Isaiah. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for round number two. Alrighty, bye.